Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra began a message titled, How God Reveals His Plans to His People. Today he continues. Let's join in. I have been sharing on how God reveals His plans to His people. Tell somebody how God reveals His plans to His people. God has a plan for every life. And uh, this plan was given to us even before we were born. Your calling is not something you beg God for. Your calling is something you discover. Then it says, when you dedicate yourself to the plan of God, then God's grace or help is connected to his plan. So then he begins to help you. That's the first reason why you and I must be interested in God's plan for our lives. Number two reason why I said we should be interested in this plan is that God protects his plan. Number three, God's plan comes with provision. So the question is, how does God reveal his plans to his people? If it's so important, how does he reveal his plans to his people? And I explained that there are two ways that in the Old Testament, the way God reveals his plans is different from the way he reveals his plans in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, he revealed his plans corporately to a group of people, to a nation. The reason was that the Holy Spirit rested on only three people, the priest, the prophet, and the king. They were the only people who knew the plan. So they have to say what we are doing, then all of us follow. But in the New Testament, the Holy Spirit lives in all of us. So everybody has his own individual plan. So Isaiah said in Isaiah 49 verse 1, he said, listen, O else unto me, hearken ye people from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother has he made mention of me. He has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he hid me. As I said, I became a, I was, I was a prophet from, from my birth. I just discovered it. From, from my mother's womb, he said I was a prophet. God called me to do that. So, in the New Testament, how did God reveal his plans to his people? He used various methods. And God will use all these various methods to communicate his plans to you. And if you and I cooperate with him and we follow the plans, we will enjoy the grace of God, we will enjoy the protection of God, and we will enjoy the provision of God. So, we started, I gave an example, I, I spoke about Jesus. Number one, God revealed his plans to Jesus through the scriptures. That's what the scriptures. Tell anybody about God's plan is in the Bible. You know, what most people forget is that the Bible is a book that shows you God's plan for your life. In many areas of your life, it talks about it. So I want to suggest to you, if you want to do something you don't even know what it is, please take your Bible and try and find out what is the plan when I find myself in this particular situation. Number two, I said, another way that he reveals his plan is by revelation. This time, revelation through the scriptures. In other words, God uncovers a scripture to you. In Deuteronomy 29, 29, the Bible says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things that are revealed belong to us. Revelation is a signal that possession is yours. So revelation precedes possession. So Jesus, there was a time when he knew he had to start his ministry, employ 12 people, and be a minister. For 30 years, he did nothing. He just grew mentally and grew spiritually. That's all that he did. But one day after 30 years, the Bible says in Luke 4, 17, there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Verse 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He started reading from Isaiah chapter 63. And when he finished, the Bible says he closed the book, verse 20, he gave it to the minister and sat down. The eyes of all them that were in the synagogue 
were fasting on him. And he began to say, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. He knew the scripture all the time. But this particular day, it carried revelation. And God told him, now at the age of 30 years, this scripture applies to you. As you are reading your Bible, one day something will strike you. Something will hit you. Remember that one way God reveals his plans to his people is by giving them a revelation through the scriptures. Thank you for joining us. Today we learned that God reveals his plans to his people through the scriptures. Tune in again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says, Visa granted. He said, Dear Prophet, I ask you to pray for my wife and I concerning our visas. To the glory of God, my wife and I have received our visas. Thank you for your prayers. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.